first, um, I'm a biologist, and um, I don't know where and when, but um, my work, uh, I think that it is sometimes some 16 years or so, or even more, 20 years, is connected with water. Um, actually, with uh, the possibility to impress water by uh, molecular information. And uh, then I researched how information can be captured and uh, stored in water and then transferred to organisms with certain biological effects. So this was my start and uh, of uh, studying water and water systems. Uh, we did uh, many researches, uh, not only on um, human organisms, but also on bacteria, on even on animals and on plants. And uh, uh, in many of these experiments, I wouldn't say that on all of them, but on many experiments, um, we noticed definite effects from water that was subject to certain informational process or only ordinary, I say, control water. What I must say here is, of course, that, I mean, all these um, happenings are known from uh, homeopathy, I think, you know, this. Um, but uh, we tackle this problem from Another point, uh, we tried to inform or impress water by electronic means so that even from the beginning there was no physical talk contact between um, the substance and uh, water into which uh, we impress uh, information of the substance. This substance could be a chemical like magnesium sulfate or it may be some organic uh, molecule or even some pharmaceuticals, you know, it's, it depends. But uh, what we really um, found was that uh, water can be impressed um, by means of uh, special electric fields or magnetic fields or electromagnetic fields uh, with uh, certain substances. It can be impressed by them and uh, it can then have, um, or the effects of this water can be similar to um, the substances themselves. While sometimes, I, I mean, the organism, you know, when exposed to what we say molecular information, uh, would sometimes react um, in the opposite manner uh, from the reaction to the original substance. And this we can call homeopathic reaction. Um, now, about DNA. I think you know the work of uh, Montagnier who published many articles and did a profound research into a, a very similar way than I was uh, speaking before of our research. So, because uh, he was capable of transferring um, the structure of DNA into water, uh, it was a huge and very complex structure of some 150 nucleotides. These are elements of the DNA, so a very relatively long, you know, and uh, with a very high informational capacity. So he succeeded to transfer this structure into water and from water uh, back into PCR system uh, in which he proved that uh, this structure of DNA, he, would, he was able to uh, replicate, you know, uh, again. So, what does it uh, teach us? <laughs> it teaches us that the structure of DNA can be stored in water, so that water um, aggregates, or with pure issues, distilled water, you know, or clustered, or it is also called uh, water coherent domains, 
can just remember, you know, for a long time and uh, can be structured. So, what I was hinting in my presentation mm -hmm. was that water itself, and especially if it is uh, connected with hydrophilic surfaces, uh, can build very, very uh, sophisticated formations that are similar uh, to DNA or RNA or uh, multi-enzyme complexes. So to many things that are uh, similar to modern biochemistry. I think that uh, the scientific community in general is very conservative and in general physicists and also chemists and biologists think that uh, about water everything has already been discovered so that nothing new can be known and that water is composed only of two phases uh, of let's say micro phases are molecules of water well researched uh, you know known uh, explained uh, uh, with quantum mechanics perhaps and so on and another phase of water which we can call macrophase this is bulk water that we drink and uh, that has uh, different uh, physical um, characteristics like viscosity, like temperature and so on, you know, this is a bulk water. But what uh, modern established science does not know is the so-called mesoscopic water, water of water in samples. Mesoscopic, so microscopic, mesoscopic, microscopic. So microscopic is known, these are molecules. Macroscopic is known, this is a bulk water mesoscopic, this is in between, these are uh, ordered um, aggregates or ordered clusters of water, I would say based on uh, coherent modes that were um, researched by various physical scientists like Emilio del Giudice and, uh, and in this phase of water, in mesoscopic, in water ensembles, because, you know, easy water is also means water ensemble. This is a long range ordered water, you know, long range in, if we regard water from the glasses of molecules, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is something, something new. And what is important, or um, the scientific communi community also knows um, that water can be ordered, uh, can speak about clusters of water, but only lasting for peak or femtoseconds. While uh, what is new science of water that is flourishing on this con water conference is what uh, it speaks is that um, uh, these water clusters, these ordered clusters can last not only for seconds, but even for days or years, uh, and so on. You know. So this is a very important knowledge, so that we can have highly sophisticated ordered water that is uh, long-lasting. 